Hello everyone, this is Destiny out here at County Line Campers in Gulfport, Mississippi. Today we are checking out a Cardinal Red. This here is a fifth wheel, very stunning line. Not only is it price point friendly, it has a lot of bells and whistles for this price point. This one here is the 31RL. So we are looking at a rear living, yes, 31RL Red Series. Let's check it out. Okay, so giving you a little overview, we're gonna start right here at our front cap. We've got our red, Cardinal Red logo right there the led lighting on both sides going right here into our rhino box hitch we've got a nice led light but look at this this is a flag pole holder so when you're towing you could go ahead and stick you a flag right there it's pretty neat don't see that too often we've got some storage right under here along with our spare tire this would be a great spot for a generator if you wanted to add one sometime moving over to this side we have um, a cubby that is going to have the controls for our landing uh, legs and we've got our tank flush the city fill and then the uh, potable drinking water we are prepped for solar in the event you wanted to add a solar panel and then we've got our battery right here I've got us hooked up to our jump box Moving over to this side, this is going to be a, a bedroom slide, and then we've got the kitchen slide right here. But looking on this side, we've got the access to our hot water heater, access to our furnace. So right down here, we have the access to our black and gray tank levers right there. And so you've got your sewer hookup right over here, and then you've got this to access those pools. Moving over here to our storage compartment, we have very large pass-through storage. Right here, this is a solid piece vinyl flooring. I really like that. So that way, if you do have some water or you throw your hoses in here or something, um, and you don't have to worry about water going in between the seams like you would with like individual planks, this is solid piece vinyl flooring. You're gonna find that through the entire uh, flooring of the coach also. We've got our battery disconnect. Here's a look at that aluminum frame and again pass through so you can get this um, Whatever you need off both sides looking down over here. We've got some We've got of course the dual axle and if you notice they've got the large spacing between them That's just giving you a bit more stability and control as you are towing so look at that big old kitchen slide. What I love about these is that we do have opposing slides, but as you can tell, they're not very deep. So we just have a shallow slide out here, but it makes such a difference inside the unit. We are on the 50 amp power. You can see right there, moving along to the back side, we are prepped for a backup camera should you choose to add one. We're also prepped. The Lippert went ahead and added the on-the-go ladder receiver. So all you'd have to do is buy the ladder itself and it is already uh, mounted and um, welded into the frame so that way you can um, add your ladder we've got a nice light to um, be able to see our license plate and again very large window the rear livings I love all the windows that they've got back there moving over to this side we've got the other uh, living and dining slide right over here Here's a look at our windows. They've got the special UV tint, so you can tell they're blacked out a little bit. Can't see too um, good through there. So you've got some privacy. It's also gonna help keep the heat from uh, getting in and cooking up the camper. So as you can see here, we've got our uh, detachable screen door. And this here is our solid step. This is just going to simply uh, raise and fold straight into the door itself. So that way it's completely seamless as you're towing. No stress about the steps getting um, beat up and hanging on the outside of the unit. Got the extra large grab handle. This is just gonna go up and over the door. And then we have our awning, which is gonna cover this front half of the unit. And it's gonna cover that door. Right here is the access to the other side of the storage. We've got some cable hookups, some outlets, your spray ports. You can hook up your water hose and spray off sandy feet. And don't forget about that bottle opener. Now this Forest River product does have the vacuum bonded construction. So we've got the extended season camping uh, experience. So you're gonna have that fully enclosed underbelly and it's going to be insulated. So you can uh, take this to the coldest of climates and the hottest of climates. So that underbelly is going to be the uh, rigged road debris protection underbelly. So you can see here, very tough. It's not just the flimsy uh, coating that you see sometimes with manufacturers. This is going to be that rigged armor is what they call it, underbelly armor. 
Right over here, you've got your propane tanks. When you purchase from County Line, we are gonna fill both of those up for you. Our door is on a friction hinge, so it's gonna stay right in place wherever you put it. You don't have to worry about trying to latch a little door hook right here to the side of the unit and the wind coming and ripping it out. This is uh, going to stay right in place. I love a good friction hinge. And of course, we've got that detachable screen door. And that is a look at the outside. Let's get inside and check out this gorgeous floor plan. Okay, so coming into the unit, look how beautiful. It's got a nice soft gray, but it's got some uh, warm wood uh, tones and accents. So that way it does not feel uh, too gray and dull in here. It's got a very nice welcoming contrast. Really love the color palette we've chosen for this one. And that is a quick overview. So let's go ahead and get started right here um, at the front. So we are in the nose of the unit. I'm gonna start at the very front. They have utilized every nook and cranny with this uh, wardrobe space. So you've got a fully uh, extending shelf all the way down and you've got your hanging bar that goes all the way across the front and built-in cubbies for shoes. And look at that, we've got an outlet plug right over there and you are gonna be, of course, able to access this from both sides. So just like a normal wardrobe you'd find in a home. Down on this side of the bed, we've got some USB chargers and another outlet so you can charge up those cell phones. Now, something on the Cardinal I think is really neat is on their uh, slide out, the trim, they put right here on the corner, this is metal brackets bonded together. So you do not have any separation of the wood trim right here in the corner. So you gotta think this is a moving piece. It's gonna be coming in and out and in and out. So why not go ahead and secure these frames as tightly as possible and as solid as possible by putting it together with a metal bracket. You're gonna find that on all of their box uh, slide out uh, trim pieces. I also love the little padded headboard they give you right here. We've got some push LED lights. So uh, you can individ individually control them if one of you likes to stay up reading. We have our king size bed and look at this. We've got good storage and a nice lift underneath that is going to be on those struts. So it's nice and easy to lift up and put down. Moving over here, this is really cool. We have an open little um, storage nook. So they give you these baskets, comes in handy, good shelving. We've also got outlets and you um, have a hanging rack uh, bar in the event you want to use this as more closet space. But check that out. We've got a washer and dryer hookup in this unit. We've also got our outlet and then our light switch right over here. Moving over to this side, they did include a little dresser. So this is a perfect spot to uh, stand a TV and you've got the hookup and outlets right there. Our drawers are going to be the fully extending drawers. I love the craftsmanship of the wood frame right here. And again, we've got those and check that out. We've got soft clothes on our drawers. So you're going to find that in the kitchen as well. We've got another outlet over here and then we've got a nice window. I I love the little vinyl uh, cover boxes uh, that they put here. Just adds a little residential touch to it. You are gonna have your own AC back here. You're gonna be able to control that right overhead. We have our sliding pocket door for privacy. And look at this. We have a uh, LTE Wi-Fi router all ready to go. All you would have to do is purchase the router and then activate it. This works with the Furion antenna. Uh, it's got the slide in design, so you're gonna be able to pop it right in. And then this is gonna give your camper its own um, individual Wi-Fi, so you're not using the um, RV resorts, because we all know that can be a little iffy. Here's a look at that vinyl uh, flooring I was telling you about. This is gonna be a solid piece all right here in this front half. So that goes all the way up to the nose. And they follow it right here into the um, cubby space for the closet and right here into the bathroom. So again, all solid piece vinyl flooring. So taking a look at our bathroom, I love how much they utilize every little tiny 
um, corner and space for storage. So we've got all this right here, little extended countertop, every little bit helps. And look at this little built-in medicine cabinet. But my favorite part, a mirror that we can actually see ourselves in. <laughs> Sometimes they'll throw in those little tiny medicine mirrors way up here. I'm a short girl, so I can only see my forehead in those half the time. But on this one, you can actually get a good coverage of mirror. Right here, we've got our faucet. I love the black matte finish. And then we've got a good deep bowl. We have some outlets here to be able to plug up the hair curlers and blow dryers. We've got our toilet and I love that they go ahead and they mount the toilet uh, paper holder and towel racks. You don't know how much that's appreciated until you get in here and you're like, um, I guess we're gonna throw the toilet paper on the counter or on the floor our power vent right here and our shower now this is going to be a solid piece wrapped all the way around that's really great because you don't have to worry about seams right here in the corners and potential water getting through we have a skylight so if you are on the taller side you've got some head space there we have our again black matte shower uh a faucet fixture and we have a very low profile step in standing shower and then we've got a solid piece tray right there so stepping out of our bathroom we're going to go into our hallway area we've got this handrail mounted here and then our steps i love this durable material they put on the steps right here and that is a look at our hallway we have on-demand hot water that is right as long as you got lp in those propane tanks you're going to set your temperature to whatever you would like right here not sure if you know this or not but when you have the on-demand hot water you do not need to mix it with cold water you're going to set this to whatever temperature you want when you pop in the shower or do some dishes turn on only the hot faucet and you're going to get the exact temperature needed right here we've got our control panel um i love that they have the lights um on so that way you can tell if something is on or off so right here's our main lights the green light means that they are on so that way you can come and do a quick check making sure everything is off we've got our utilities right here your tank heater so you are able again to take this up to the coldest regions and you've got those tank heaters we've got our water heater and our water pump and then the ability to check our levels how full or empty they are you can also sync this bluetooth look at that so you can pair it up to your bluetooth and of course control this with your smartphone so they've got their own um app right here you just hook up your camera open up download the app and you can control your um all your settings from there and then we've got the option to bring in our slides right there and our awning you're able to select which one you want to control by this uh, button here. And then this is just going to be up and down to put them in or out. I think that's really neat because this is very uh, conservative on all the random buttons. A lot of times in units, you're going to have um, a full control panel for slide one, slide two, slide three, and your awning. So this here just allows you to um, have minimal uh, controls. You're just going to select which one you want and then one in or out button okay getting into the good stuff we've got a great little coffee bar um right here i love the little lighting underneath we've got our ac and heater control all right here on the furion so again you've got one up in the bedroom but this one's going to control everything out here in the main area here's your spot to plug up your coffee pot this is going to be the power management switch for the different circuits that you are set to and being able to control which one you switch to this here i love the extra storage but look at this gorgeous glass insert so again great coffee or wine bar and we've got those matte black little pools and hardware making it feel super residential here's a look at some more storage right under here i love this little faux uh, marble look we've got on the countertops we have a pantry so you might be thinking this is a little bit shallow not to worry we've got another deep pantry right over here so this would be great for all of your spices or maybe like a toaster some small appliances again they just utilize every little nook and cranny i really love that so moving over here we have our ever chill refrigerator and check out down here they include a little step stool so you can get up and access the um, items up overhead very easily this also makes good storage for i don't know your tennis shoes or whatever items uh, you can think of but this ever chill fridge you've got a nice built-in latch system for towing you're just going to push in and open that up. We've got the humidity control and then the power setting right there. Decent sized freezer space. Look at that. 
Again, looking at this whole slide out, this one's pretty shallow, but again, we've got two opposing slides, so it just opens it up and makes it feel very spacious in here. And look at those slide boxes. Again, we are gonna have that metal bracket bracing it all the way down. I think that's really nice. You don't see that um, in other brands that we carry. Right here is a good storage compartment. We've got our Greystone microwave, our hood, our three burner stove, great glass um, top to extend countertop space, but then you're just gonna peel that back when it is time to cook and it creates a nice backsplash. We also have a built-in knife holder right back there. Here's a look at our oven. Got nice LED backlighting here, some more countertop space outlet, and we've got a built-in paper towel holder right there. Again, they think of all these little details so you don't have to take up countertop space. We've got more storage here and under here. And again, those are gonna be the soft closed drawers. Switching over to our island, look at this. They even thought of a spot to hang the dish towel. So you've got that mounted right there. I love this under mount sink in the black. Looks really nice. Matches this residential style faucet. We've got the extending sprayer on it right there. And of course, very large storage. Great spot to stash the trash can, which they do give you also. And look at this, little built-in utensil holder. There's a look at our remotes. And again, the soft close and fully extending. Moving over here to our pantry. There's a nice deep storage, good amount of pantry space. Y'all are not gonna be running out of storage in this unit, it is perfect. We've got another outlet right here on the island, which I think is great. You can plug up your appliances right here in the center. Our carbon monoxide detector right there. You had your smoke detector up in the hallway. And look at this, LED pendant lights overhead. Again, just making this place feel super residential. I also wanted to point out that we are prepped for a third AC. That's right, you can go up to three on this one if you want to add it. You've got your other one back here and they've got it prepped to add right over there. There. Finishing out this slide, we've got our entertainment section. Again, those gorgeous glass inserts and more storage. Look how big that is. Right over there, we've got our Furion um, HD LED TV. This thing is really neat. So you've got the bracket that's going to fully extend it. So that way you can swing it and face it to wherever you guys are sitting. So if you're over on that side or back over here, on the back end. We've got storage right here underneath the TV, a little bit more here with the outlets. Great spot to plug in the PlayStation if you got some kiddos or some husbands that <laughs> enjoy gaming. We've got our fireplace. This is really neat. Not only does it put off heat, so you can um, heat up the space very quickly on electric during the uh, cold months. You don't have to worry about using up the LP, but it also can just light up and do a pretty little setting too. So you can leave it on as a night light without having to worry about it heating up the space during the summer. Moving over to the back end, we do have a sleeper sofa right in here. You're gonna be able to remove these back cushions and then fully fold out. So that's gonna give you more sleeping space so you can bring the grandkids. Built-in end tables on both sides and they each have their own USB chargers and outlets. We've got plenty of window space, making it bright and open back here. All your windows are gonna have the accordion nightshade so you can black this out for privacy. We have our light switch to be able to control the light right here. We've got a great display. Use it for blankets, games, storage, put some pretty uh, decorations up there, and then even more storage right overhead. I love too that these cabinets are vertical as opposed to horizontal because this is a very tall space. So not only are they giving you that step stool to be able to reach up here, you also don't have to worry about having to raise them up horizontally and then having the doors come down, trying to get stuff in and out. I really love that they put these vertically. You're gonna have one on each side, so plenty of overhead storage right there. Moving over to this side here, we've got the Thomas Paine Furniture Collection. This is the movie theater style recliners. They do have warranty on them. So if anything happens to your furniture, Thomas Paine offers an individual warranty um, on his stuff. I think that's really great. We've got the built-in cup holders right here, and we are going to be able to recline these with the manual switch and pull right there. Perfect setup for watching the television. Another cool thing I wanted to point out is we do have gorgeous LED lighting underneath the um, recliner here. 
I just cannot find the switch for it. I know it's there. I see it, but I cannot find the switch for it. So if I find that, I'll flip it on so you can look at it. But it's just a nice little uh, kick light basically for nighttime. So you don't have to turn all the lights on full blast. You're going to have a nice little ambiance uh, lighting right there. We have large windows on both sides. And then we've got the ones with the screens that can open right here. So you can get a good cross flow of a breeze. And over to our dinette. Now this is going to uh, be really cool. Not only does it go into um, a, a booth area. Area, um, for dining but it can go down and make a sleeping area so what you would do is just remove these legs and place them on this ledge right here spread out your cushions and then you've got a great sleeping area but here's another really cool thing first off I love these little pillows that they give you um, they are uh, it's all one piece so they look like individual throw pillows and then we've got the vinyl down here so you can keep it clean and they're just going to raise and be able to spread out very easily um, to make the sleeping space but look look at what we're looking at we have built-in corn hole that's right underneath here you can take these out take them outside and they have corn hole tables you guys is that not the coolest most creative thing so the boards are stored right underneath the dinette seats they've got the little legs you can take them out and enjoy some cornhole <laughs> never have i seen another brand do something like that it is so neat Moving back over here, we've got some more hooks so you can hang the coats, umbrellas, car keys, camper keys, a little handle right here to help you get in and out. We've got our breaker box right there, fire extinguisher, and then we are right back here to our control panel and front door. So you guys' favorite part, let me tell y'all, uh, this unit here, suggested retail, just over $80,000. $80,000, you're like, okay, yes. $80,000, that seems like a perfect price point for this camper. Let me tell you guys, we have this on sale right now, you will not believe it, for under $50,000. That's right, all of this, all these bells and whistles that we've gone over, the luxury, the residential feel, all of them combined really, really make this thing the perfect, perfect unit so y'all come on out to county line campers we are in gulfport mississippi you can also shop our website we have delivered campers very very far before so i promise you you will not find a better deal on this one we can ship it to wherever you are come and see us message us here on youtube or go to our facebook page county line campers when you think camping think county line campers